Hello, I'm going to talk to you today about ATP, ADP, and energy. And during cell respiration and photosynthesis, we keep hearing reference to these words um, ATP and ADP. ATP stands for adenosine triphosphate. So the adenosine is this combination of ribose and adenine. And then the phosphates are these right here. So we have one, two, three of them. So this is a phosphate group. And so this is a high energy molecule. It took a lot of energy to put this onto here. And this got put onto here during cell respiration. During cell respiration, the glucose is burned and the energy from the glucose being burned and the electrons being transported takes ADP, which is adenine diphosphate, and adds this onto there and that takes energy to do and so now we have a high energy bond making adenine triphosphate. So this is kind of the final storage place for the energy that originated as light energy got transformed into chemical energy of glucose during photosynthesis and then that glucose was burned during cell respiration creating the ATP which is now what the cell uses to do work and here's how it does that. So if we take the ATP molecule and we add water to it, that causes a reaction to happen which breaks the bond there. The water donates the oxygen there and the hydrogen there and by adding those molecules into it they take the place of some of these bonds and it splits it apart and we create what's called inorganic phosphorus and ADP. But more importantly, when you break this bond, we re release a great deal of energy. And that is the energy that's released that causes work to happen in a cell. By adding this phosphate onto say a protein molecule we can change the shape of that protein molecule and that causes work to happen. So we go from the light energy to the glucose to the ATP, we add water, we break it apart, we get the energy out and then eventually that's how the work happens in the cell. This ADP then goes back into the system and energy is used to put the phosphorus back onto it and recharge it as ATP and it can be used again and again to create work inside the cell.